Hello everyone, once again, I uh, thought I would take a quick moment to say that uh, I'm not really the kind of home brewer internet guy who's trying to get a lot of subscribers and build up viewers and all this, but I see all you Sons of Guns subscribing and I think that's cool, I appreciate that and I do like to know that people are uh, watching this stuff and think it's uh, useful. With that said, today I'm going to do my first ever official smash beer. You know what a smash beer is? Many of you do. It's a single malt and single hop. Smash. And uh, sometimes I think people do it to really find out what the character of a malt is. Obviously a base malt or a particular hop. Uh, or it might just be kind of a practical thing like in my case today I've, uh, I have um, these are all half ounce packets of Northern Brewer hops that are actually from the 2010 crop and now we're in 2012 so they're a year old um, but I have three and a half ounces and I also um, have a 55 pound sack of Morris Otter floor malted malt and um, you know this is something that I really want to get to know and I, you know, I know kind of what Northern Brewer hops will do but this is a good way to use these up I'll probably split them up 60 minutes an ounce maybe 30 minutes an ounce, maybe, you know, 15, and maybe some at the end. Just kind of do it out like that. So not too bitter. I got uh, uh, some uh, London Ale yeast that I've either showed you or I will show you. I think I will show you that in a second. Um, so it'll basically kind of be like an Englishy pale ale kind of thing, I suppose. Um, I'm also going to do a second no sparge beer, and I'll kind of run through the numbers. I'm not going to go into as much detail as I did last time. I have another video on that. Um, but essentially I'm going to start with 11 pounds of the malt, 22, 24 quarts of water. I'm going to add 8 quarts of water um, before I collect the running. So I'm starting with a total of 32 quarts and I'll probably, so that's 8 gallons. I'll probably get about like 6 or 6, just a little over 6 gallons, uh, maybe closer to 6.5. Um, we'll figure that out and hopefully end up with about 5 and uh, see how it goes. From my previous batch of No Sparge Mild, I collected two of these quart jars um, of the yeast and washed it. And so you can see the yeast on the bottom. And so I had two of these, and with one of them, I decided to might as well make a starter because it had been a month. And here it is. Uh, I just made it last night, uh, yesterday evening. So, um, you know, I'll give it about less than 24 hours before I use it but just thought I would get it going and here is my water heating up uh, 24 quarts is what I'm starting with today but I'll talk more about the total quarts in a minute. They're all fogged up here but I got it at about 152 uh, which you can't see but uh, I got 24 quarts um, 152 11 pounds and I'll mash it for an hour and then add 8 quarts Rate of boiling, raise the temperature a little bit, and then see how many um, pre boiled gallons I have. And this is what happens when you're brewing home alone on a Saturday at 10 a.m. You pour yourself some of your no sparge mild, which I'll do a more of a report on sometimes, but it's coming along nicely. Uh, and then you start rocking some tunes. Okay, a quick update. I've collected the wort and I uh, got uh, six and a half gallons, pretty much even, which is about what I was hoping for, so that actually worked out pretty well. And the gravity is about 11.5 to 12 bricks, which is close to 1046 to 1048. So for 11 pounds of grain to already be at that pre boil, six and a half gallons, you know, that's not too bad. This is going to end up to be over a little over 1050 I would think and like I said for 11 pounds um, no sparge you know that's that's about consistent what I got with my 10 pounds on my first one when I got about 1048 so see how it comes out in the end alright pretty much done here um, and my volume was pretty much just what I was going for uh, you can see my faded five gallon line right here and I got pretty much five gallons even so with this system 
with my rectangular cooler system um, and doing a no sparge, I had a total of 32 quarts of water, so 8 gallons, ended with 5. Um, did not do a sparge. My gravity, uh, can't tell exactly yet, there's a lot of foam, but it's going to be it's going to be about like 1050 or 1051, so that's with 11 pounds of grain. With uh, 10 pounds of grain, I got 1048. So I think that the efficiency will decrease pretty rapidly as you just keep adding more pounds of grain. But so far, for 10 pounds, for 11 pounds, I'm getting about what I would get with a sparge with my system. So if the character of the beer turns out to be um, something that is better or more interesting or whatever, then you know maybe I'll do this method for a little while. Uh, all I gotta do now is go get my yeast starter and dump that in and then get the blow off tube and get it in the closet and clean up. So uh, everyone, hope you uh, try making a smash beer sometime. If you ever wanna send me a beer to, to uh, review, I'm still open to that. Send me a message and uh, have a good one.